In the first section, we have the lease settings. There are two types of leases. For a net lease, the tenant is responsible for paying a set rental rate plus some or all of the operating costs. In a gross lease, the tenant pays a set rental rate and the landlord is responsible for covering all or most of the operating costs. Rent increases or rent steps are negotiated in most commercial real estate leases and they usually take the form of either a percentage increase or a dollar per square foot increase. Next, we have the lease inputs. Most of these are self-explanatory. However, tenant improvements warrants a bit of coverage. These represent the cost that the tenant pays to improve the space that they are about to lease. Improvements could represent new carpet or paint, for example. Moving on to the free rent section, free rent represents a period during the lease term when the tenant does not pay rent to the landlord. And usually landlords offer free rent periods as an incentive for tenants to sign a lease. In this example, we have two free rent periods. Each are five months in length with the first free rent period starting on the first month of the lease term and the second free rent period starting on the 61st month of the lease term. Click on the plus sign here if you want to add another free rent period. The last section I'm going to cover is expenses. We have property expenses which are paid by the landlord. For example, cleaning, maintenance, taxes and insurance. We also have non-recoverable expenses. Typically there are some costs that the landlord must pay and that the tenant will not reimburse. In this column we have the tenant costs that are reimbursed to the landlord. So we are analyzing a net lease in this example and we are assuming that the operating costs, taxes and insurance are fully reimbursed by the tenant to the landlord. So effectively the tenant is sending money to the landlord to cover these expenses and the landlord is paying the bill for the services provided. If we scroll up, we see that the table is populated with key outputs and the total cost of this lease is approximately $54 million during the entire 120 month term of the lease. Let's quickly review some other outputs. On the calculations page, we have this table that nicely summarizes all the components of the lease, including base rent, free rent, expense reimbursements, parking costs, and tenant improvements. Another cool feature allows you to toggle between two output options. And then lastly, we have the rent schedule. This is handy to review all of your assumptions to make sure that you did things correctly. I put a link to this tool in the description, so go check it out. Thanks for watching.